Hello there. I'm Dr. Sad. And welcome to Mini Geology, where I, Dr. Sad, teach you all about geology in five minutes or less. Today, we'll be talking about precipitation, its forms, causes, and how you can measure precipitation. There are four major types of precipitation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail. Rain is liquid precipitation. If raindrops are smaller than 0.5 millimeters in diameter, it's called drizzle. If rain is between 0.5 and five millimeters in diameter, they are called raindrops. The smallest precipitation form is snow. Snow consists of ice particles. These particles fall as small individual crystals and then combine with other crystals into snowflakes. Snowflakes tend to be small at low temperatures and become larger as the temperature nears zero degrees Celsius. This size difference occurs because colder air is usually less moist. Sleet is produced when there are extremely cold temperatures near the ground. Sleet forms when rain falls through a layer of freezing air. Sometimes, rain doesn't freeze until it strikes the surface. Thus, a thick layer of sheet ice or glaze ice is formed. Hail is solid precipitation in the form of ice. Hail is formed in cumulonimbus clouds. Convection currents in these clouds carry raindrops to high levels where they freeze. As these raindrops fall, they accumulate more layers of liquid water and they freeze. Sometimes the hail might be carried up through a layer of freezing air and other times the hail falls back down through a layer of near freezing moist air thus making the hailstones larger. A cloud produces precipitation when its droplets or ice crystals become large enough to fall as rain or snow. When cloud droplets reach the, watch this, two hands, precipitation stage, that is called coalescence. As cloud droplets fall, they collide and combine with small droplets and the resulting larger droplets fall as rain. Precipitation may also form in clouds that contain water vapor, ice crystals, and water droplets that have undergone a process called supercooling. Droplets have a temperature of zero degrees Celsius or less. Yet, as they fall, they cannot freeze because there are not enough freezing nuclei. In an attempt to increase precipitation, meteorologists have created a method called cloud seeding. In cloud seeding, freezing nuclei, or silver iodide crystals, are added to supercooled clouds. These elements cause ice crystals to form. However, sometimes cloud seeding produced more precipitation than unseeded clouds did, and sometimes there is no significant difference. And other times, there is even less precipitation. Thus, scientists concluded that while cloud seeding may increase precipitation in some clouds, it can decrease precipitation in others. A rain gauge is an instrument made for measuring rainfall. However, rain gauges only measure rainfall in one particular spot. The depth of snow is measured with a measuring stick. The water content of snow is measured by melting the water. On average, 10 centimeters of snow equal about one centimeter of liquid water. Well, <laughs> that's all for today, kids. Thanks for joining me.